invite you to turn with me in your Bibles to Mark chapter 14. Mark 14 as we continue on and the gospel according to Mark, his wonderful introduction to the Christian faith. I do want to thank, uh, also I should have done it before, I want to thank Jasmine for stepping up and playing for us at, at literally no notice whatsoever and uh, doing a wonderful job. I appreciate that. Derek is correct. So, But um, now before we uh, turn to the word of God, let's go to the God who gave us this word. Let's ask for his help and understanding. Sovereign Lord, we are so thankful that you have given us your word as a sure rule and guide for all of our life and our practice. We thank you for Mark's testimony to the ministry of Christ here on earth the way that he began that wonderful work of redemption. We thank you for Luke's testimony that we're reading in the morning, going through the, the, uh, the book of Acts, as we see how that work was continued and how the gospel was spread to the nations. But now, Lord, as we come to a, a very somber part of the gospel, uh, the trial, this mockery, sham trial of Jesus Christ, I pray, Lord, that you would help us to tackle these, these questions. I pray, Lord, that you would help us to understand our own nature, Lord, as we see it displayed here. We can look at what the Sanhedrin did and we can pour our, our vitriol on them, but we need to understand that uh, it's our sins that sent Christ to this cross, not just theirs. Lord, help us then to take these things seriously and to understand the great sacrifice that Christ was making for us. We pray all these things in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Mark chapter 14.